What's up, what's up, everyone? I'm just watching this video. Do you guys, who remembers this? Say, I remember. Say something in the comments if you guys have seen this one. It's a movie trailer we made. That's me driving right there. Well, that's not me, but that's, that's me driving right there. Check out the ride. Check out the ride, toast in the Lexus. Oh. It's on. Anyways, we don't need to watch the whole thing, you guys. I just didn't know how many of you guys had actually seen this. But that's a video trailer that we made. I'll watch one more second so you can see the cops really quick. Check this out. A high-speed car, car pursuit and then cops. What's up, folks? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do a Q&A with you guys. I just wanted to show you guys this cool video to kick it off while people get in the room. Oh, car chase. Oh, helicopters. Oh no, this movie trailer's getting real. This is fun, you guys. You guys, when you guys, when you guys uh, get some time, make some little movies like this. Oh, we're skidding out. I'll pause it here in like, I'll pause it here in like 20 seconds. Cops are trying to stop the fun. Oh, a little parkour action. Oh, flipping over. Oh, yep, speed blogging. You got it. Jumping up on the fence, running along the fence. This is how it goes down right here. All right, we got enough people in here. Let's start doing some Q and A. Hello, 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 Michelle. All right, let me hit pause on this. What's up, folks? Yes, that was definitely sick. That was sick. You guys can see that by going to my um, by going to my Facebook profile, facebook.com forward slash Chris Record. You guys don't mind? I'm gonna have a little sushi in the background, and we're gonna just kick in. We're gonna ask questions. We're gonna talk business stuff like that. Facebook ads. The link for the product. Are you talking about? Studio Pixel FX. What type of internet marketing do I do? Yeah, let me let me introduce myself. Hey, is there anybody new? Is there anybody brand new? Put I'm new. If it's your first time ever being on a Chris Record scope, if you've never been on a scope with me before, let me start off by saying, welcome. Oh, look at this, a bunch of people. Daryl, Reggie, at Anley, Michelle, Cheap Travel, Mike. All right, well, listen. Rather than just jump into it, let me just uh, let me just answer a few questions real quick for the newbies, and then we'll get into the advanced stuff. My name is Chris Record. I come out here every day, best scopes ever. I come out here every day, and I'm just here to serve and give as much value as possible. And so I'm an internet marketer. I'm the I'm the CEO of Internet Marketing Bar. We do several million dollars per year in the internet marketing space. We teach people how to make money online. We teach people how to market their business online. We teach people how to uh, various different cool marketing strategies. If you go to my replays, the last couple of days, I've been teaching people how to be able to make like a thousand bucks a week, you know? It's not like get rich money, but it's like easy money. Like if you want if somebody wanted to make a thousand dollars in the next seven days, I literally have two scopes in the last like 24 to 48 hours that teach you step by step how to make a thousand bucks in the next seven days. Amway, good luck making a thousand bucks in seven days in Amway. If you can make a thousand bucks in the next seven days in Amway from scratch, you deserve more props than any of us. Yeah, basic concepts. What I call arbitrage. I teach sales arbitrage, stuff like that. You guys will learn. If you guys want to catch replays, just go to chrisrecord.tv. Chrisrecord.tv. So, let's kick it. And I'm not like I'm not in multi-level marketing. There's no real hidden agenda here. My 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 oh, my agenda is transparent. I'm looking to basically serve value to the masses in exchange. A lot of people uh, join my email list, end up buying products from me, stuff like that. It's a win-win situation. But if you are new here, just kick it and ask me questions and hang out and, and see the answers and see if uh, see if I'm the type of person you want to follow. And if so, follow me. Good luck, man. Anytime someone claims not to have a hidden agenda, ugh. well, I'm sorry that some other people ruined it for you. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that you had a bad experience with someone, and from now on. Um, you think everybody's got a hidden agenda. Why the knock against Amway? I, it's, it's not a knock, I'm very honest. I guarantee you, you've never met, you, you, I guarantee you don't know anybody 
We just got pumped down too. I'll guarantee you don't know anybody that in the last, you know, in the first seven days is gonna make a thousand bucks in Amway. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm just honest. You don't have to agree with my opinions though. Definitely not a knock on Amway. I was in Amway for five years. If, any, if anything, I'm one of the biggest supporters of Amway. Hit me with some questions, guys. What do you guys got? Kids just went to sleep. Affiliate marketing. If you're a beginner, don't create your own products. Why would people want to create why would people want to buy your products, right? So in the beginning, learn how to promote products. It's all sales. Thoughts on Udemy? I have mixed emotions from Udemy. Because I love Udemy, but they but they don't give you any any customer data. They restrict you. You can't really use your own sales pages very well. There's so much stuff. XS is legit. I think that was their best product. Heard of Neutralite? Yeah, that's an Amway brand. You missed the knock on Amway. It wasn't a knock on Amway. I was saying you can't make. I was saying good luck making a thousand bucks in a in a week in Amway. Come on now. I know the owners of Amway, the Van Andels and the Devosses. I've met with them and hung out with them. Nobody, nobody right now is just jumping in and making a thousand bucks this week. So on my Pixel FX stuff, yeah. That's a good product. What's a good read? 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Wait till October 6th. Yeah, I got my viral video product releasing. That'll be hot. Chris has a course called 8K per, it's actually called 8K per day formula. But if you're an affiliate and if 8K per day is your link, then congrats, props. Why don't you draft up an email and then um, from Andrew and let me and cue it. Okay. On yours or mine? You want to do it on yours? And you can have some sushi too. Selling in Mexico logo animations is pretty difficult. Whoever just said that, no it's not. No it's not. Come on. Internet marketers travel and like live in Mexico. Okay, I taught you how to. Um, I taught you how to market online. Listen, d living and living, you can live anywhere in the world. You need to have internet access. You need to have internet access. That's what you need to have. You can live anywhere in the world. Ten X rule last night. Yeah, right on. Ten X rule is a good book. I endorse that book. I just ordered thirty copies to give away to uh, just entrepreneurs who who are in need. <laughs> North Korea could work too. You just get a partner. You just partner with somebody who's in a different country. You just handle it right there. Going to an actual university versus going through Grant Cardone University? I've not been through Grant Cardone University. What do I think of MLM? I got started in MLM, so I think it was a great place to learn sales, and I think that it was a great place to, to, learn, to learn lots of stuff, but I don't know. In MLM, most people build it wrong, which is why MLM has such a bad rep. What do I get out of this? What do you think I get out of this? It's, it's branding and it's exposure. It's relevance. You want to you get out there and you want to go out there and you reach the masses. You reach the masses and then what happens is people start to hear about you. Everything here is repurposed. The people that are on live right now, they get a fully different uh, benefit than the thousands of people that watch these on, on the, the replay. These videos can go end up going, like think about it, take a regular video like this. And you can have it submitted to YouTube, you can have it embedded on your blog, you can have it SEO optimized, you can have it snippets put on your Facebook prof, uh, page, you can have those page post engagement ads running to them, you can have them uploaded to Pinterest, you can have an entire ecosystem all working together off of one single scope. So all I have to do is click here and press broadcast and then outsourcers basically can publish the stuff everywhere. It's amazing. And, it's, and then you can have calls to action. I don't need to even sell anything here because I can have a call to action added. I can have an intro, professional logo intro, and a call to action added at the end. Would you ever consider MLM again? No, probably not. But I, I, would, I would train MLMers. I would teach them how to promote their business the right way. MLM was good. I've made seven figures in MLM. I've made well over a million dollars in MLM. Overcoming obscurity, that's really good. Good word right there. It sounds like you might Listen to a lot of Grant Cardone. 
Yeah, when Smart Member relaunches, it's going to be a game changer. So going back to that Udemy question, that's why I built Smart Member to be a Udemy alternative. That's why I said I got a bittersweet feelings about that. Do I use attraction marketing? I mean, if you call this attraction marketing, then yeah. Which traffic method do you recommend for a squeeze page? All of them. I mean, I use, I use squeeze pages in every traffic method. Grant Cardone is a joke. Hmm. What part about him is a joke? Sing a song. If you go to my, if you go to chrisrecord.tv or go to my profile, the other day I did more than sing a song. I put on rap music and I freestyled, freestyle hip hop, freestyle rap to words you guys wrote on the screen. You probably don't believe me, but I did. What are your thoughts on subscription sites? Love them. Love them and build them. It's a big part of my income. <clears throat> Images for Facebook ads. Do you have a membership site or just search Google? <clears throat> um, I, I basically just have my own created. I just create my own. <laughs> Those training on Vegas 3C, smart member, love it. What do you do if you have these two Twitter handles? Buy on Periscope and sell on Periscope. I don't know. I think anything with the word Periscope in it is probably copyright and trademark infringement, so I wouldn't do too much with it. Smart Member 2 is similar to Udemy, except you get to keep all your own leads, you get to have your own upsells, you get to have full control, you can use your own vendors, you can get paid instantly. You get paid that, that day if you want. You sell something, it goes right to your PayPal, or right to your Stripe, or right to your bank account. What do I think is most important about MLM? I would say what I learned the most about MLM is how to sell. And I learned how to build teams, and I learned how and I learned how to relate to bigger audiences. Like, at the time, I was just a young kid, and I learned how to relate to a lot of other people my age and stuff like that. So, there's there's a lot of there's a lot like I relate I related learned how to relate to adults, learned how to relate to all kinds of stuff. Can you put your shoe in your head? No, sorry, I don't feel like having those kind of questions. What advice would you give yourself? If you had to restart from scratch again. I'd build a list. My 50,000 person MLM list, or sorry, you said MLM. My 50,000 person list right now is um, a big part of my success. And I would definitely build a list if I did it again. Let me put this over here. Best traffic method for a squeeze page. It's all of them. There's not a best. There's not a best. It would all depend. You would have to get, give me a break, big breakdown of your niche and what you're in. Mm -hmm. 8k per day formula teaches you how to build a list I don't mind the hate I'm just chilling listen anytime you go and you put like a word millionaire or you put the word seven figure in a scope you're definitely going to get hate there's no way around it because it's a little bit pretentious to do that so don't worry too much about hate that's gonna come hit me up with some more questions you guys I just missed those ones Chris you're visionary thanks for your mentorship I appreciate that will smart member 2 have its own shopping cart no maybe smart member 3 or something but not 2 it shows them on their mind Pretense isn't bad if you know your stuff, which you clearly do. Yeah, but you're still going to get, it still is somewhat of a pretentious title. Do you need customer service reps with a list? I do need customer service reps. I don't necessarily need a list, but I need customer service reps for sure. What's up, Rachel? Eggheads, eggheads everywhere. Yeah, I'm here to serve, so I know I give good content. People can watch, I have like 120 or 30 scopes. I know we're doing a good thing here. What do I use to create those images? I use um, Canva, a site called Canva. 
C A N V A, like Canvas without the S. Best way to give value to subscribers is serve them with with so much free stuff that that they would have paid for. So people would pay for something, but then you give it to them for free, and it's just it's so good they would have paid you for it. Then when you tr then when you want to sell them something, they'll buy it. You deliver you'd serve them value. You improve their life and enhance their life in some way. Even if it's not your own stuff, you could find resources for people. How to stay focused on one strategy, avoid, avoid shiny object syndrome. Make your strategy more encompassing, okay? Like for instance, I focus on, I focus on um, making money online and I focus on multiple streams of income. So I don't really get distracted very much because I'm always looking for more streams of income, right? So because it fits in my model, it's not a shiny object. Right, so you figure out a way. So in the center of it all, I, I find ways to generate traffic and I send that traffic to different things. What do you do when you have a 1% open rate with your list? How big is your list? Did you, did you build it organically? Are they on because of you? Or did you buy it? Do you do JVs? Yes. Joint ventures. That's how I make most, that's how I make a lot of my money. I don't say around two million this year was from joint ventures, two million dollars alone. How do you focus on creating multiple streams and not get lost when you're a newbie? Getting lost is just an emotion. So you just learn to, when you're new, you just learn to control your emotions. You just go, hey, that's gonna, even if you're, look, even if you were focused on one thing, it's still hard as a newbie. That's the thing that people don't realize. They think, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed because there's, there's all these different things out there. No, it's just as overwhelming with one thing. It's not, it's like, it's, it's all just as overwhelming, right? So you just, you just center it, you channel in your focus and you go, you know what, it's gonna be a learning curve no matter what I do. He wants 2,500 for the program, is it worth it? I missed the first part of that. Video ads for selling physical products, I teach that. I have a course coming out on October 6th teaching that, so I like it. What are MLM folks doing now that you teach them to do differently? Well, things like the way that they reach out to people. I have people um, pitch me on MLMs every single day, and I've rarely ever had anybody pitch me good at all. So I get maybe like five to 10 pitches a day, and maybe once a month at best do I have anybody give me a good pitch at all. So I would start by telling people they need to unlearn whatever they're doing, they should unlearn it. Unlearn what you're doing. The market changes. How would you start with the Pixel software? Well, first things first, the Pixel software deal ends in like an hour or something like that, or half an hour or something. So if, if anybody here is considering getting Studio Pixel FX, what are you doing on this? You should go get it, because it's, it's $47 right now, and it's gonna go to $47 a month in like an hour or half an hour. I mean, if, if, if anybody here has been on my other scopes and you're like, dude, I wanna do, I wanna make a thousand bucks this week. If anybody was on that scope where I showed you how to make $1,000 this week, there's that software that I use, and it's just 47 bucks, one-time fee. It's ridiculous, and it basically makes all your money for you. It does all the design for you, so you don't have to do the design. If you guys are on the fence with that, yeah, right there, studiopixelfx.com. Okay, you guys got it. Yeah, yeah, but if anybody's on the fence, you guys realize, I'm just giving you a heads up, you guys realize it's going to go to $47 a month. $47 a month starting, I think, tonight. I don't know, they're raising the price. Okay, what part do you want to know about? Okay, in a nutshell, Studio Pixel FX is a software program that designs a bunch of professional graphics. It designs ebooks, DVD covers, product covers, stuff like that. What I did was I flipped it and I did a training teaching you how to be able to go out and contact people and what you, what you do is you design the design for them up front. So like, let's say you contact me and you're like, hey Chris, do you need any graphics? The answer is like, well no, I'm probably not gonna pay you for graphics. But instead if you came to me and said, hey Chris, here's a graphic that I designed for you and it's got my name, Chris Record, maybe it's got an orange hat, it's got something cool, I'm really excited about it, but it has watermarks on it. And then you're just like, dude, I, Chris, I appreciate your stuff, It's your stuff rocks, you know, um, honestly, like, I'll give you whatever deal you want on these. You know, you tell me what, what price you'd want. And then you let me name the price. So what you've done is you've designed something up front for me. It's hard for me to say no because you've just spent the time doing it. 
and and then I tell you a price uh, that of what I want to pay. Who cares if it's ten or twenty bucks or whatever? And then you just you accept it. You don't even negotiate. You just accept it. Could be fifty bucks. Who knows? You accept it. You do that two or three or four times, and you realize you just hit a gold mine because you're designing up front for people, and it's harder for them to say no than if you're asking them up front if the, if you should design something for them. And the tool you're using to design it's software that does it automatically for you, so you don't even have to be a graphic designer. You could know nothing about graphic design. You don't own Photoshop, nothing like that. You don't know nothing, doesn't matter. Complete beginner. Contest subscribers don't convert well, no. You're playing a bigger, you're just playing a big numbers game. Software's drag and drop, it's the easiest thing ever. Upcoming launches, yeah, my launch right now focuses on list building. 8K per day formula. The 8K per day formula focuses a ton on list building. Viv, is 8K per day your link as an affiliate? How many launches do I do per year? I do like one a month. I do soft launches and then hard launches like one or two per quarter, or really one per quarter. So like this year will be like, like, like three million in launches and launch revenue. Yeah, 8K per day. Yeah, no, it's okay. I just didn't know. I was making sure you weren't accidentally spelling it wrong. 8K per day. So if you guys buy it, go buy it through Viv. I don't even, you guys, I don't even give out my affiliate links on, for my own products. If you, anybody wants to buy my own courses, I just tell you to go go search and go find it because I want some affiliate to get, get paid. I want you to go buy through somebody that's an affiliate so they can make money. So I'm all about, you guys, I, this is, this is the cool thing, like, when you start making money, you guys, I think you'll feel the same way. It's like you want other people to make money around you. You want people to succeed. And that becomes so, worth so much more than making your own money. When do 3C tickets go on sale? I think they're going to go on sale mid-month, mid-October. It's truly an awesome course. Yeah, 8K per day actually is truly an awesome course. I'm not even done with that. I got a whole nother like 10, 15 videos to release. K per day, yeah. That's one of the, 8K per day is one of the affiliate links in here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, look, I'm here to help you guys make money. Right now, if like, that's why I was promoting Studio Pixel FX. It's not because of the 20 bucks I make when you buy it. It's like, woo, 20 bucks, right? It's because there's a product that you guys can actually make money with. There's some products that are expenses. They, they, they are an expense, and there's some products that are investments. Expenses, investments, expenses, investments. And I try to find you guys products that are investments that you can get a return on your investment. An expense is money out of your account. An investment is where you're putting a little bit of money out and learning how to get a return on that money, make that money keep flowing back in. That's what I focus on is return on investments. Hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. You guys keep the questions coming, I'm loving them. Questions coming, keep the questions coming. Shoestring budget, do, do the two techniques that I taught you uh, in the last two major scopes. In the last two days, I taught how for like 50 bucks, you can flip it and make a thousand bucks. Flip 50 to a thousand, I gave you step-by-step -step training and I'm doing another one for everybody that buys. Hey, did you guys even know this? I'm doing another bonus training for Studio Pixel FX. Nobody even knows it because I didn't get the email promotion out in time. But I'm doing another webinar for all of you guys. Pretty cool, huh? I love you guys, man. I'm gonna do another webinar, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, 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 people say the scopes are awesome, but instead of doing it on a scope, I wanna actually do it on a, on, a, on a webinar so that I can, you know, so I can like share my screen and give you guys like real, uh, like HD quality stuff. Everybody asked me for it, they're like, dude, this was awesome, but it would be way better if I shared the screen. Thanks guys, appreciate that.
if you guys want to buy it, if you guys didn't buy it, it's studiopixelfx.com. Studiopixelfx.com. It's available for like 30 more minutes. But listen, I'm not here to pitch. I didn't jump on here to try to pitch you guys. But since that one is only like 30 minutes, then I mean, just if, if, if you were on my earlier webinars and you wanted it, just go get it. I mean, it just, that's like more of just me trying to be a mentor to you and tell you, dude, jump on that. It's a good, it's, it, there's a few products in the marketplace that are just brilliant. And that product is brilliant. It's like 50 bucks. I mean, like, why would you not get it? It doesn't, it, it wouldn't make sense to me. Unless you're already like some, even if you were a killer Photoshop designer, it takes too long. I can, I, can make, I can make graphics as good as a Photoshop designer in two minutes with no skills. So why even bother anymore? Keep the questions coming, you guys. I'm hanging. I got Andrew Graham over here. We we ordered. We got sushi. Keep it coming. I'm sending an email in the background. That's what you call multitasking. I'm multitasking. Thanks for the hearts. You guys do realize that? Um, hey, for those of you that are new, I convert those hearts into cash. I go down to the bank and I pull out cash, and I put that cash. Uh, we donate it to homeless. From you? Yeah. You sure? I mean, that's good. Well, we'll do one more from you. But it went out? It went out for sure? I did test. Oh, okay. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Screen has gone blank, Chris. Why, why would my screen be blank? I do not invest in the stock, stock market. Yes, I'm going to be doing free plus shipping offers. We have two offers that I'm going to start doing free plus shipping. And I want to get, the offer I want to get into is um, free plus shipping on e-cigars. I want to give away an e-cigar for free plus shipping and I want to have the upsell B flavors. My own brand, not not a not a not a knockoff. I want to create my own brand of e-cigar. It's crazy. What can I use for gear bubble designs? I just use um, outsourcers. E-cigars restricted on traffic. No, no, no. I do bridge marketing. Hey, real quick, any any preconceived idea you guys have about marketing or what's allowed or what's not allowed, throw it out the window. Just throw it out the window completely because I teach bridge marketing, which is a, it's more of a revolutionary strategy. It throws all that, all that stuff goes out the window. Like if there's anything you're not allowed to promote on Facebook, I can promote it because I do, I do uh, bridge marketing. Andrew. Mm -hmm. It went to a spam folder. It did. Do a different title. All right, so listen, let's talk about one, one person said they're in MLM they're looking to diversify multiple streams. I'll tell you what to do. A couple other people wanted to break down a bridge marketing. So here you go. Bridge marketing would be like, okay, so like say like Facebook doesn't allow ads for MLM. And let's say you're an MLM and you want to get people to go to your MLM. Here's what MLMers do wrong in general. I'm generalizing here. As they talk about their MLM and how great their MLM is. Nobody wants to hear that. Okay, you're just, you're just a, you're just a you're just an overzealous MLMer who's hyped up about your company because what MLM is amazing at is getting people hyped up when they're not making money. And the people that are making money in MLM usually aren't making money. That's a bad thing that the industry, oh, did I spill something there? It's a bad thing about the industry, you know? When I got up to the high ranks of MLM, it turns out, you know, people weren't really making money, okay? So that doesn't mean MLM's bad. You gotta hear me out. The problem with MLM is that people do this. They're like, my MLM, they say things like, check, our products are amazing. You won't, oh my gosh, this product, this is helping me so much. Oh, well, our company just crossed a billion dollars. It's one of, the, it's a Fortune 500. It's been around forever. We got a solid track record and we got amazing leadership and we got da 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 But none of that stuff works really well. That stuff worked when nobody else was doing it. But once everybody started doing it, it's like, 
Go show me someone who hasn't been pitched on a dozen MLMs. Everybody's getting pitched. So listen, the concept of that, branch that into any type of, any type of opportunity at all. So let's use MLM and then you can use bridge marketing for anything. So I have this audience over here and I have this MLM over here I want to recruit them in. Instead of going direct, which is what everybody does, they throw up on this audience saying, join my MLM, join my MLM, we're amazing, we're amazing. Don't even let people know you're an MLM, okay? Put a bridge there and put a bridge right in the middle and that bridge, that bridge is the gap. There's, that, that's like a, there's like a gap. There's a void. They don't want to hear about your MLM. So give them something that they do want to hear about. That's bridge marketing. You know, for example, for example, let's say that you want to recruit a rock star in your MLM business, and they're in a, somebody. They're already in another MLM. They're not going to quit that MLM for you. Don't get into a whole battle of whose company's better. It'll never work. But you know what would work? Giving them something that will help them be better at their MLM. So what you do is you're basically like, hey, look, you know, oh, you're an MLM. Check out this. Check out this YouTube strategy. This YouTube strategy here, you would dominate with this, and you would recruit more reps. You would build a bigger downline. You would be awesome. Check out this YouTube strategy. And then what you do is you basically blow up. Yeah, you treat it like an IM product. You blow up that YouTube strategy. You got your own course, either as an affiliate or you create your own course. You blow up this YouTube strategy. Then you let other affiliates promote your YouTube strategy. It's all about this YouTube strategy. And the next thing you know, you put everybody on a webinar. And what you do is you put everybody on a webinar and you tell them, hey, I'm using this YouTube strategy for this company. And here's why I'm using this company. And here's what I like about it. And here's what it is. And then say, but you can use it for any company. So let's go through it. And then at the end you say, hey, but if you guys are looking for a company to work with, I've got a special bonus for the next 10 people that join this one. And boom, just like that, or 20 people. Just like that, you can run a single webinar and you can put, you guys, right now, I could, I could blow up a couple webinars this week and I could put a thousand people frontline in almost any MLM. And you guys know how MLM works, man. It pays frontline. Okay? You got to realize that. You know, just, just, just from email and webinars. So you, you got to realize it's bridge marketing. Now, I'll give you one more example of bridge marketing. I can target San Francisco 49ers fans who are extremely passionate about San Francisco 49ers stuff. And I create a bridge to give them some opportunity to make money doing what they love, cash in on their passion, such as like, make writing blog posts about the San Francisco 49ers maybe making videos about the San Francisco 49ers so basically I teach them how to be like an internet marketer or an affiliate marketer who can make money off of the team that they love and then I turn around and guess what I do I turn around and say hey if you join this company right here I'll give you even more training I'll show you how to not only make money from home which you're already wanting to do but also I'll give you an advanced training on how to be able to make money uh, you know, repping the team that you love, spending all day long. What other teams do you like? You like the San Francisco Giants? You like the San Francisco 49ers? You like the San Jose Sharks? Do you like the Golden State Warriors? Do you like all these sports teams? How would you like to make money like blogging about them and doing videos about them and, and what's called affiliate marketing? This is how you make money online. So you start the bridge. They don't want to join MLM, but they want to learn how to make money online doing what they already love. And what they love might not be sports. It might be recipes and cooking. It might be weightlifting and bodybuilding. It might be, it might be anything. It might be crocheting. But the reality is you just help them do what they love and you've just bridged the gap. Now they, like, they know you, they like you, and they trust you. So now they want to find out more about you. Turns out you're in an MLM or something and, and you have spots available for them and they want to join and next thing you know, put a thousand people in your MLM. Everybody goes, how on earth did you do that? You know, like, like Paul Lynch, he's the creator behind Easy Sketch Pro. And Paul Lynch um, sells that to, in the internet marketing community but then on the back end he sells Mobe, which is a multi-level marketing company. And he's made like over a million dollars in that company part time. Just feeding people in from the back end. He's one of the top distributors and he barely even does anything with it. I did. Okay. I mailed. And you did. Well, did you press send? On no, I just sent it to the test. What kind of bridge pages are working? Articles work well. Yeah, Paul's not only in Mob, he's one of the top distributors in all of Mob. Where are we? We're in my backyard. I'm not seeing your email in any inbox. What's the title? Or the first few words? 
Yeah, it's Andrew with me. We're here eating sushi from Makuni's. He wants me to jump off, though. He wants me to jump off and do a little bit of business. Did you see the timer? Only nine spots left for the duty roll next week. Okay. Did you see the timer? What's that about? One hour and 16 minutes. Dude. It's an extra hour. Ask him. Ask him if that's real. You think they're playing game? Whoops. Sorry, I dropped you guys. I dropped you. Uh, normally try to go to sleep by midnight. You wrote to Andrew on Facebook. Okay. Um, you bought Pixel Studio FX. Cannot find the bonuses. You'll get mailed the bonuses tomorrow. Okay, you guys got dropped. Sorry about that. Because I just have you resting on... I'm, you're, you're actually on my iPad right now. Resting on my computer. Hey, do we have any people on here that don't own Pixel Studio FX that would want to buy it if I gave them a little if I gave them a little bonus? How to buy Studio Pixel FX? If you, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about giving a little bonus to you guys, just like as like a cool a cool deal. Okay, I'll do a little bonus because um, the reason is is because Andrew's saying right now that I'm like five sales away from winning first place in a contest. So if I won more money in a contest for that. I'll gladly just throw throw the time or money towards something for you guys. If you guys do not own Pixel Studio FX, you got you guys all uh I'll do I'll do an extra bonus for you guys. I'll hook it up. Tell him he's saying huh, tell him tell him the, the timer is uh set for one AM Eastern time. He's saying it shows fifteen minutes on his. We only have fifteen minutes. It's showing an hour and fifteen minutes on mine. Yeah, but all right, listen, we have 15 minutes left in this contest, so here's what I'll do. If you guys buy it right now through this link, studiopixelfx.com. For those of you guys that wanna do this, studiopixelfx.com. Studio Pixel FX. you guys throw it in there. Yeah, it shows only 15 minutes. If you guys buy it before the timer right now, I need like five or, I need like five or 10 sales to push me over. And if you guys do this, we'll do collectively. If you guys do it and you push me over, if I win first place in this competition, I'll hook you guys up. Can we all do this? Studio Pixel FX or the link from my email. If you guys buy it right now uh, and show me, everybody that buys it, I'll see the last people right now, the last people that buy it. These last 10 people right now, I'll do something extra for all you guys. We'll do like a like, we'll choose what topic you guys want. I'll hook you guys up. If you guys want, if you guys want to, if you guys want to help me out right now, I'm, it turns out that I'm like five sales away from first place and there's only like 10 minutes left. At first place is a matter of thousands of dollars, so you guys, I'll, I'll generate thousands of dollars in just extra, bon uh, in extra uh, contest, and I'll hook you, and I'll hook that up. I'll serve the value back to you guys. It's fifty bucks. It's forty-seven bucks. Okay, guys, listen. I'm gonna jump off right now. Go to studiopixelfx.com. Studio. I'm gonna start up a new scope because I'm gonna, I'm gonna start up a new scope and do a bonus about it. You guys, right now, before I end this one, see, see what Viv just posted. Studiopixelfx.com. You guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna add in another bonus, and I'm gonna tell everybody through it. You can pay through PayPal, or you can choose credit card option. Pay through PayPal, or choose credit card option. You guys, I'm gonna start up a new scope right now. Come join me if you want, but go buy it. Go Studio Pixel FX. Go buy it, and then come on the scope and say you just bought it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna email everything. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get the tonight. I'll get the buyers list when this ends. It ends in like 10 minutes. So give me. I'm gonna start up a new scope, and we're just gonna go until 10 minutes, and we're gonna kind of see if. And I'll and I'll announce live. It, here's what it'll be. The, an extra bonus I'll throw in is if I win, if I finish first place. So we'll do it as like a team. If I finish first place, I'll throw in a, a, an extra huge bonus. All right. I'll catch you guys.